Hi, I'm Harvey Mangerweil from the CollegeWizard.net, and you're watching video excerpts from my live seminar entitled Confessions of an Ivy League Admissions Officer. Those attending my live seminar have paid up to $500 for the information I'm about to share with you right now. I believe the family of any student about to apply to a highly competitive school will find this information incredibly helpful. You're about to gain a perspective you would not normally be able to get, seeing your student through the eyes of an Ivy League admissions officer. And think about it. If you better understood what an Ivy admissions officer is looking for and why, wouldn't the admissions process be a lot easier? And by the way, much of what I'm going to tell you is not something Ivy League admissions officers would want you to know. First, a little about me. I went through the Ivy League admissions process myself in 1976. Yes, 1976, when it was considerably easier getting into Ivy League schools than it is now. I'll talk about that more later. But I did get accepted to Dartmouth, and I graduated from Dartmouth by Beta Kappa. And I've been lucky enough as an entrepreneur to have built a series of multi-million dollar businesses. Once my businesses were well established and running smoothly, one of my volunteer activities was acting as Dartmouth's District Enrollment Director for New York's Hudson Valley. In the course of volunteering, I had the opportunity to interview hundreds of students and to correspond regularly with the Dartmouth Admissions Office. I gained much of the insider information contained in these videos during my tenure as Dartmouth District Enrollment Director. Of most value to the work I do now, however, was the opportunity I had to meet and review the records of so many students and then to see which students were accepted to Dartmouth and which weren't. Believe me, there were many, many students with perfect SATs who were rejected and many with borderline SATs who were accepted. And I'm going to explain why in a little bit. The one-on-one -on -one consulting work I do now is based on a synthesis of what I learned as a district enrollment director with the same marketing skills I've used to build my businesses. Because the bottom line, which may sound a little harsh, is that understanding the truth about the college admissions process lets you see it as a game you can win. And as you watch the rest of these videos, you'll learn that the key to getting accepted is marketing a student in the strongest way possible to the admissions office. For many students, it's the first time in their life that they need to sell themselves when an awful lot is really riding on it. And I think it's a parent's job to prepare their child for this challenge as well as possible. 